ding 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 What is this time signature? It's an, it's five four six four or is it Yeah. Kinda interesting. Oh, it's always fun. So Ah, jeez. Hello everyone, welcome to today's stream. Uh, my name is Bando. Today is the 26th of July, 2021. It will be the last stream of July because there are no more Mondays in July after this one. Uh, I'm gonna dive straight into the stream because I wanna see how much I can get done in a little amount of time as possible. Uh, I hope you all are feeling very, very well. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's Monday, it's the end of July. Um, it's always Monday every time I stream. Uh, but, no, yeah, it's, it's a wild time of now. Oh, the rap music changes. It gets there. It gets your, your blood pumping, your music going. It's going. It's getting there. I've got Rocky in my party. Why? Because I think I put Rock Smash on him. Yeah. And I got Hot Doggo, which definitely needs the attention. So maybe we'll actually put him out front. Just get some of that passive uh, switching to him experience. Uh, but yeah, nah, today is probably gonna be a good day, probably. We'll see how well, how well everything goes. Fly high into the sky, my beloved bird Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, I think today is probably gonna be a lot of trainer fighting though, because, uh, one thing I do love about this game, but also, uh, it's a, it's a fun one for pacing reasons, is that, uh, you've got, uh, two routes here where... Uh, or actually, um, yeah, they play on the pacing a little bit. Instead of you just going, you know, like, here's a route, here's a cave maybe, here's a dungeon, and then you enter a city, and then you get to do a gym, and you get your gym badge, they change it on you a little bit, because you don't get to get to do the gym in the next city. You instead have to double up on the number of routes you go through, just to be able to, um, well, th and then you fight two gyms, back to back. So, <laughs> that's the fun... The fun aspect of this game. Um, and then they actually, they toy on it a little bit for the next gym as well, uh, after that, but, you know, that'll be a while ahead. Uh, that being said, yeah, I, I'd say as a mild anticipation, I'm not too sure how many, uh, well, how, how, I guess, eventful that is, but, you know, I'm gonna keep it interesting, we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, let's send, uh, the doggo back out. I'm probably going to switch immediately because Fluffer seems to be able to take these and Dojuro just seems to be Dojuro. And if you send them out, you'll get half the experience. I still don't know where the experience share is as well. I gotta look this up. <laughs> He's hitting me with a furry attack. I definitely know every Pokemon game will give you this experience share sooner and sooner, which it's a fun idea for it to be, um, you know, like, given further and further. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So this is an interesting one. Uh, so you actually can get it after, um, uh, in the Lucky Channel, the, the random number, if you get three numbers correct. I, I think I looked it up earlier, but yeah. Um, they actually kept that up in Hargold Soul Silver, which is cool, as well as uh, Ruby Sapphire Emerald and Diamond Pearl Platinum also did the same thing, which I think is kind of interesting because it seems mechanics-wise, uh, the experience share doesn't make as much sense. Well, maybe it does. If you have it on more than one person. Uh, every game, though, has always had the ability to gain uh, an experience share, except for, of course, the first game, because it was an experience all, uh, and therefore it was a much later upgrade than it traditionally was. They also didn't have hold items in that game, so... Makes sense there. I forgot what level I'm getting Growlithe to. But yeah, no, Growl Growlithe, because he's a stone evolution, he's gonna be a uh, kinda interesting boat, because you want him to earn a certain, you know, you know, you want him to get a certain move, uh, through leveling. Hey, it's a berry! Wow. Did I box anything? I don't know if I boxed anything. Oh, I might as well use this as an opportunity to just, like, run back and heal in one 
one fell swoop. Uh, here we go. Back to the... Back to reality. Uh, he learns Flamethrower level 50. And Flame Wheel at 34. But do you... Do you get him to level 34 or do you just call it? I look at that moveset and I go, yeah, that's gonna be an interesting one. That is gonna be an interesting one, yeah. Alright, well, let's get this, this thing. So, I've got a few topics for the day. Um, I guess the the easiest thing to talk about is... Uh, well, I guess I don't need both an antidote and a PlayStation Network Cure Berry, and in the same way I don't need a par Parlor's Heal. I never use X items. Uh, and that's... Oh, that's a confusion one. I never use X items, so I don't need that. Uh, and... Charcoal, I actually should hold on to, and Quick Claw, I don't know. I never use Ice Berries. It's, uh, it just never comes up. Same thing with Ether. Not the biggest fan of using it. And then these Apricorns, you know, you don't really have to hold on to them. Well, that cleared off most of our space, because there's not too many items in the first Pokemon. Or first couple of Pokemon. At least, stuff that is just like a regular item. Yeah, they still always put, like, hold items in there, but yeah, if I give him, uh, the charcoal, that'd be a good, a good boost. And I feel like someone should get the Quick Claw. Probably whoever's, like, awkwardly the slowest. So maybe no arm boy. Because what the Quick Claw does is that I believe it's 12.5% of the time, you gain one priority, uh, point on your attack. So, uh, moves like Quick Attack are priority moves. And, uh, yeah, when you attack a priority move, well, moves are executed in terms of priority first, and then it'll roll the speed if, uh, if priority ties. And so that means that a move like, um, yeah, like, well, sorry, if you have a Quick Claw, that means that a Pokemon that is slow as molasses can sometimes still be faster, because he just gains priority. And that's the cool part about it. Now, I don't trust Hot Doggo to live against this, um... And, uh, he doesn't have Ground-type, because he's Wooper, not, not, uh, not, a. Uh, oh my gosh, Brain Fart. Quagsar, there you go. Oh, he is still Ground-type, isn't he? Well. Whoops. Ah. Oh. So we're at this fun point where, uh, yeah, Quagsar is fully evolved now because he only evolves once. Uh, but Chicky's still got a bit of way to go. Chicky will evolve at level 32. Um, Quaffa is gonna evolve at level 30. Um, Golbat will evolve whenever he feels like it. Me walking around with him, funny number. Me walking around with him is probably gonna help, but I don't know if it's gonna be the, the be all end all. Um, Are you tr good at training? If you are, could you show me how? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, Growlithe evolves with a uh, stone. So, uh, but yeah, if I was waiting until, um, just even Flame Wheel, that's level 34, which, it's not gonna be forever, but it is gonna, it's gonna feel like forever, because the only other move that they're gonna learn on the way is Lyra at 18 and take down at 26. Um, this is gonna be fun as well. Let's send out No Arm Boy. Just relying on the fact that his electric attacks can't hit. That's such like a fun like composition though. The fact that like I can send out this water type, and that's okay, because the water type is ground type. And therefore his one well, is he's got two weaknesses, and one of them can't hit him now, and the other one deals double damage, so. Dual edged sword, but it's a dual edged sword where you can tell that the guy is coming at you, so how bad is it? And he's still bulky, and he's also faster, I think just because he's higher level, and therefore just has the stat to back it up this time. I love it when, when the sound effects are also playing, like, and the music has to cut out one of the, the audio tracks, so. Uh, but yeah, no, I got a, a fun. Um, Fun. I've got a few few topics to go through.
Um, I guess the first one would be games that I've played this week, uh, to do it a bit quickly. I've not played any new games since the last stream, but I have finished, finally, uh, Cooks Serve Delicious 3 as of yesterday morning. I, uh, I put in all the effort, and Cooks Serve Delicious 3 is Cooks Serve Done. I can now give a very official statement of the end of everything and say the game it was pretty good. Really pretty good. I did enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit. I think that uh, its mechanics work really well. And as someone who made, you know, like I, I kind of, I, I don't resent doing video essays, but I'm like, yeah, I don't really have a huge plan to like do any others. But you know, one of the few video essays I did was on Cook Serve Delicious, and I can safely say, you know, Cook Serve Delicious one deserves it because it does a really smart thing with how it does its difficulty system. Cooks of Delicious 3 doesn't quite have that. It's more, um, like, you're forced to use, um, well, it's kind of got it, but, uh, you're forced to use a certain, um, man, not a, not a great opportunity for Babat to come in with all these, like, psychic types and electric types just all around. Uh, might as well send Chicky out, because he is on the, the lower end here. Also, Mr. Mime. I mean, yeah, I can tell Mr. Mime's gonna be chucking the, the classics. Ooh. This is the world we live in. I love that effect. Just like, when it's done so quickly, it's like, ooh. Even though it's really simple, you just, uh, offset the, the vertical drawing. Actually, I don't know how easy that was on, um, on the Game Boy. Speaking of, I'm not a big fan of this. Uh... Let's go, oh, Fluffer. Yeah. It's gonna keep spamming it, wow. Okay. Um, but no, yeah, so instead of, yeah, instead of you kind of determining what... Wow, this guy has it all. He's got all the annoying moves. So for reference, Substitute, it takes off a quarter of your health, but then what happens is that the Substitute will take damage until a quarter of its health has been... Well, until that amount of health taken off was, uh, you know, is, is received. I don't, I don't know how to phrase this. The point is, is that the substitute acts like it's a Pokemon with a quarter of the health, and then, yeah, it basically means I cannot deal more than a quarter of health in one attack. Uh, unfortunately, it does mean that Fluff is about to die. Also, why am I getting swept by the single level 19 freaking Mr. Mime here? This is oddly bizarre. He's got barrier, he's got light screen. Oh, I've got surf, this is a special attack. This should mean nothing compared to his reflect and, and barrier. This should just get him. But I would have thought Thundershock would have done the same thing. Why is he really tanky? I don't understand bro, I don't understand. Who knows? Well, that was it, so... I didn't study enough, I guess. Uh, now here's one thing, there's one other trainer. Do I have the guts? I think I've got the guts. Because I know they've got grass types. I'm thinking... Can... <laughs> can he do it? So... Uh, so in this route, uh, you can find, uh, Rotata. Uh... In gold, in silver, you actually find Meowth instead. Uh, there's also Raticates, there's Magnemite, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it's Farfetch, but not at night. That's fun. And then, yeah, 5% chance for Miltank, 4% chance for Taurus, and 1% chance for Snubble. Which is actually, like, that's fun to, to get, you know, a few of those rarer Pokemon in there. Uh, but no, yeah, so the way that the Cooks of Delicious 3 does its, its systems is that you've still got the set kind of day routes that you kind of did from Cooks of Delicious 2, and uh, your goal is to do the days perfectly to get gold, or if you're that kind of guy, you can aim for silver or bronze. I think you are required to aim for silver at least in most cases, and some levels do lock off with golds, but silver is the only thing that's ever, like, targeted. You do need silvers, so... Um, 
And uh, yeah, the days uh, use not set menus, but like subsets of the total menu. So sometimes it is the entire menu. Sometimes they'll say, oh, this is like complex solids three or like foods that start with B or like specifically wrap foods. Like it'll, it'll tell you, you can only pick like foods from these categories. Uh, and then on top of that, um, the, the menus are like, will sometimes require a point limit. So you can't start the day unless the, uh, the foods on your menu add up to a certain amount. Uh, thanks for the follow, Callum. How's everything going? Yeah, um, yeah, you can't add, sorry, you can't start the day unless say, like, oh, it's a 17 point menu. Some foods are worth like zero points, some foods are worth up to five points. You just gotta have enough of those to, to go there. Um, but there's enough, like, variety of, like, you know, choices of foods to go off. I never thought, like, there's only a handful of days in the game that legitimately do restrict you <laughs> into using very certain types of foods. Um, either because, like, the point limit is very harsh, and they kind of do force you to use, like, good ones, or, uh, sometimes they actually do really not have that many options. Um... But it only happened a few times, uh, and then on top of that, uh, you can kind of alleviate the point limit, uh, by, as you go through the game, you get upgrades, and you start off at seven, um, like, uh, prep stations, uh, but you can upgrade up to 14. But you can choose how many you want as you buy the upgrades, and what's actually kind of interesting is that each one that you add, uh, you actually reduce one point off your point limit that you need. So if a day needed a 15 point menu, well you could actually add five prep stations and suddenly you only need 10 points on your menu. And that's actually a really fun way of kind of balancing it out because there were some days where it's like, oh man, I don't like using, you know, these, these foods, so they're just too hard. But I'm really comfortable, and I, I found this out a lot, is that I'm really comfortable serving a lot of these, like, level 3 foods instead of working with the level 5 ones. And then I just up my points a little bit. And then I'm able to handle it. And then there's some days where I felt the reverse. I was like, oh man, there's too many foods to juggle around. But if I give myself fewer prep stations, I can really kind of build the, you know, work or spend a lot of time per station. And it doesn't matter as much. Um, so I did find that, and I actually liked that dynamic. That was pretty good. Um, I also really liked the varieties in the menus, because it did... I mean, there was a lot of, like, I kept choosing the same foods all the time. Uh, Bimibap showed up a lot. I got really good at Calzone. Um, uh, Creme Brulee was a pretty good one for me for the, for the prep station foods. I found um, sushi and... Uh, uh, was it tamales? Were like the pretty good ones um, for me. It it sometimes depends on your playstyle. I think that's actually a fun part as well. Um, but I do agree that yeah, I would lean towards the same kinds of choices over and over again. I yeah, especially all those like level three holding station foods where you can auto serve them with the right stick. I found that like I just use them a lot. So things like um uh like. French fries, um, not French fries, like the, like the different kinds of fries, um, which one's another one? Bouillabaisse, uh, it was like clam chowder, I think was one of them, uh, not, not, uh, pasta, like, pieces, not that one, I actually found that one really odd, uh, but yeah, there were a few, lasagna, there's just a lot that, like, you could do, and you could kind of get good at, and a lot of the days didn't demand too much more than that. Um, that being said, I thought it was good fun going for all the achievements, especially when there were achievements that were like... Uh, uh, the, well, the achievements were broken down into two camps. It was either, like, get your first medal on in a new route, so easy enough, that's just a progression achievement. Uh, then there was, yeah, get all golds in the route. This is a sad thing, by the way. Uh, Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of berries. She needs lots of berries. Oh, no. Moo. This cry is weak. So, I believe what you actually have to do here is you have to actually give it seven berries. I'm not too sure. There you go. Hold on. Who's gonna ask for the berries? The milk even goes out to Kanto, so if our own milk tank won't give us any milk, we're in trouble. I know, that's the worst part. 
I'm not saying I can't give me milk no more. This here's farm's got famous milk. Most everyone wants a drink. It'll give me lots of milk if and I'd feed it lots of berries, I reckon. Maybe I'll give them things. So, um, yeah, so it's uh, first part in the the, uh, the area. Get all gold to an area. Here we go. I'm going to give them all my berries. I know I've only got four. I need seven. But, you know, if I can give them some more, that'll be neat. Um... Getting a little healthier. You still need to still need to keep pushing. But uh, the reward for doing this is that you can. I believe you do get given a moo, moo milk. I know, and it only takes regular berries as well. So I've got to figure out how to get some more berries. Yeah, that's the disappointing part. There's all these other cows as well. But yeah, so he can. Uh, I think you get a moo, moo milk, which is a very good. Healing item. It's uh, what is it? 100 health? Moon milk? It's pretty good. Uh, also, you get a TM13, which is Snore. And Snore is a fun attack if you're ever in that kind of playstyle where you use like uh, rest. It's a really fun one on that one. The hot doggo. Uh, probably gonna send out No One Boy because I don't think he's gonna get much love after this route, is he? Um, and then, yeah, sorry, so the last of the achievements is do certain days with, uh, a certain point menu. Uh, these did kind of, you know, go, oh, well, if you're using a certain point menu, then often you didn't need, like, extra holding stations. But it did mean that you had to really, like, overshoot the, you know, the difficulty that you typically do in a level, uh, which I thought was actually kind of neat. Um, there were some days that I'm just like, oh boy, why did they make me do this? Like, there were ones where it's like I'm having to juggle, like, three different kinds of burgers, and they start giving you not enough time to do the burgers. Um, I, I actually, I found as well, as going through the game, that the, uh, the food trucks kind of messing you up was, it's a really fun mechanic, until you upgrade them all away. I kind of liked the idea of them just being around, but I also understand, like, not... Not bogging you down too hard by using them, so who knows? You still gotta suffer them in the last area of the game, though, so that's actually that's an interesting part as well. Uh, by the way, yes, this is almost the exact same trainer. The Pikachu is female this time, though, so. You know what's the worst part? I thought that this like part was gonna take forever of like me walking through like these routes to get to the ah. Oh to get to the next town, but there's like one more trainer after this guy and then I'm already there. So <laughs> I'm, I'm actually surprised. Maybe I could... Oh, it might be a bit, because there is a bit to do. Because you got a dungeon and then you got another route to go through. Who knows? Do I have a flying type Pokemon? I don't think I do. I don't mind surfing back, to be honest. It's not too rough. Boo doo doo. Uh, but no, yeah, I thought the game was actually, was pretty alright, it culminated in a lot, I liked the, uh, the writing, the flavor text, like, legit, that's some hilarious stuff, all the flavor text, just like, you know, in the menu going like, oh, this is like the history of the food, and it comes up with like this, like, fake history of, <laughs> like, this weird story of like, how this food came to be, um, and it's like, it's crazy stuff, and I love it, um, so that's all good. Uh, the music is great. Top shelf the music in this one. I really liked it as well. So honestly, yeah, I'd say it's a great package. And uh, lots of hours of, of gameplay. Definitely a bit on the, like, yeah, it overindulges in its gameplay length. But it's also, like, it's kind of unabashedly, you know, the same idea the whole game. So I don't mind it in that regard. Um, and it does enough to spice it up. To keep doing its own thing, uh, and to, to, you know, once you get comfortable with the mechanic, it starts throwing something new at you, and, yeah. Synthesis. Oh, do I trust learning synthesis? Because I look at my move list and I go, well, reflect is nice. Synthesis is a really, like, dog fun attack. Oh, instead of poison powder. I feel like poison powder just isn't good enough contextually right now. I don't know, because like you need you need tackle, you need razor leaf. You never know if you're gonna need. Well, actually, do you need tackle? No, you don't. <laughs> as much as it's like, yeah, oh, I've only got one type. 
It is also, like, kind of like, here's a Pokemon that does this one type thing, and I wouldn't really be sending him out anyways, like, if he couldn't use Grass type to attack something, because Tackle is not that strong of an attack, and the one type that does get, you know, thrown off by Razor Leaf, well, there's a couple of types, but like, there's Flying type, which I wouldn't be <laughs> sending Chicky up against it either, there's Steel type, which Tackle's not gonna help me with either, and then, uh, are there any other types? Dragon type? Yeah, Chicky's still not in the best bow, I would, I would send someone else. Eradicate is a bit mean, though, I'll tell you that. Yeah. So, yeah, no, Cooks Out Delicious 3 was fun. Uh, the other game that I've been particularly playing, uh, I've been playing a bit more F1. Uh, Pup Lobbies are uh, always fun. Like, oh my gosh. Jeez, people getting some crazy freaking crashes on this first turn. Um, it was not a race weekend, so I can't comment on any actual race, uh, but they are in, uh, Hungary this weekend in basically seven days' time, but, um, what's that buffer out? Uh, so that'll be fun, but, oh, man, yeah, it's, it's F1, and it is almost exactly the same game as it was last year, pretty much. They changed the menus, but I don't really think I just tackle. <coughs> oh, jeez. I don't think that's any particularly big difference between this one and the last game, so I'm not too fussed on that front. Uh, I guess, yeah, that was the F2 kind of intro bit. I actually, I like the bit of them having these, like, fictional characters that follow you along from F2 and give, like, a bit of a storyline, although I do wish they spent more than, like, two minutes, like, doing the F2. What it is is that, yeah, you do these two, well, three scenarios, and then that kind of, like, just you just get thrown into Formula One, and the people who are behind you just casually come up to you, and this guy comes up to you as well, and he's like, you again? There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here, supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. <laughs> Boo hoo, just let sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows, it may make you a bit less weak. So, one, good on him for not fighting you, and two, good on him for telling you where someone is. So, and yeah. No gym leader at the moment. All mine is on the sea, and if it's on the sea, there are bound to be fish. I've fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and fish? Aha, we have ourselves a new angler. And this guy gives you a good rod, and the good rod is great because then you can actually catch some decent Pokemon in the water. Fish aren't found in the sea alone. They go wherever there is water. Uh, so, if you fish here, uh... With the old rod, you'll just get magic up and tentacle, but if you use the good rod, there's a chance you'll get Shelter. Absolutely love Shelter. Beast of a Pokemon. Uh, I, I'm specifically not gonna use him just because I used him in my Pokemon Blue, but, like, legit. Shelter is an absolute, like, beast. The other one you can get is Chinchow, which I think is absolutely fun because you get, uh, water and, uh, electric type. Um, and as a Pokemon, that's, like, they are a mixed attacker, yeah, but they're also, like, you know, being able to to benefit both is just great. Uh, this is HM04, which is Strength. Strength is a rather good attack. People kind of sleep on it a little bit. Um, maybe nowadays, because you've got, like, Return as an attack. But Strength isn't too bad. It's, it's, it's actually, it's pretty alright. Um, I don't know if I'm walking into the wall there, but, uh... So yeah, this, this is all of mine city. It's a city, it's... There's nothing really too fancy with it, uh, but it's a fishing city. It's the city on the coast. There's some other things that I also like, uh, looking at, like, uh... There's the lighthouse over here, but I guess they ran out of tiles. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's a really tall building. It's hilariously tall. Stretches all the way up here. It's just... Oh, okay, sure. Uh, I think this is the guy. Yeah, this guy wants to do a trade. If you have a Krabby, he'll give you a Voltorb. And that's... That's an interesting trade. Because, one, as I said... Or... Did, did I say? Well, you can... Yeah, you can get Krabby right here. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, okay, okay. So, yeah, you can get... Uh, I don't know why, it's got like, uh, Bobopedia is listing city and harbor 
as two different like spawn locations and I don't or, or wild Pokemon locations I'm not too sure which ones oh the harvest through the door yeah sorry whoops uh so anyways through the I guess in the city part the uh good rod can catch Krabby and Magikarp as well as Corsola and Staryu. I guess in my case, because it's nighttime, I'm not going to see Corsola, which is a shame, because Corsola's great. So this is, I think, what they mean by in the harbour. Yeah, and here. So, specifically here, as different encounters. And even this guy makes note of the fact that Shelter's are here. When they fall in the sea, so you're not allowed in. Um, oh, boy. Good evening! It's me, Owen. Got it. Should I give should I give him like a, a crocodile hunter voice? I just saw some rare Yanma in Route 35. I'll call you if I see another rare Pokemon, okay? See you later. <laughs> like, oh okay. He's a juggler, he's not he's not a crocodile hunter, but <laughs> how many rods do you have? Ah <laughs> different rods catch different Pokemon, oh boy. So uh but yeah, the fact that you can catch Krabby here means that Voltorb is easy enough to get. I guess like the last trade. <laughs> No, I did. Um, did I heal? I don't... I think I healed. Yeah, I did. So we're still a bit off from getting an experience share. Not too far, but a bit. Uh, this is the lighthouse. Uh, there are no wild Pokemon in the lighthouse, and I love that. As just, you know, here's a change in pace dungeon. Where you don't have to deal with wild Pokemon. The first game did a lot, didn't they? There's a thing as well, so people train at this lighthouse. It's not easy to climb because of all the trainers. The other fun thing as well is that, like, a lighthouse, to some extent, it's constantly, like, ascending in an anti-clockwise direction. But you've got these holes here to help you kind of escape. Hmm, this is no place for playing. Uh, it's an interesting spot, I guess. Uh, so you technically, I believe... Technically, don't have to come up here right now. You might as well because, like, as, as I mentioned, there's not really uh, like anything between the fifth gym and the sixth gym if you have done this. So you might as well do it now. I'll just gain the levels now. It's not like anything is that like tough in the way. Um, so it's a bit of encounters uh, where you'll get to the top and then kind of go done. It's nothing particularly for me to gain up here, but. You know, then you don't have to come up here later. Well, actually, you do have to come up here later, anyways. You have to come up here later with no trainers in the way, because you've been them all. So... Uh... Yeah, game number three that I've been playing, I've been playing, uh... Nino Kuni, and I've played significantly more of it, and I can come to this weird rant, and I hope that someone, hopefully out there, agrees with me, and I hope that a lot of people really hate me on this one, but I legit encountered this, like, strange story of, uh, I'm up to the bit, uh, in, if I say the name of the dungeon, no. Let's just say that you get a third party member, that's pretty obvious based on the UI when you start playing the game. Uh, then you fight, uh, a boss where it exits when he's on half health, and then after that, that dungeon, where there's no wild encounters, it's just some set encounters, and then, uh, boss. I hit this weird point where uh, the boss started kicking my butt, like, a fair few goes in a row. I'm like, oh, I can't seem to manage to, to beat this boss. Um, and I was I was really unsure of myself, because it's like, okay, I'm playing on the normal difficulty level instead of easy. Like, it could just drop down to easy, but if I can't do normal difficulty level, I feel like I'm doing something wrong, because I don't... I feel like I'm experienced enough to, you know, be good at this. Let's let's keep trying and I keep failing and I'm like oh okay what's going on here like like uh, the boss would at some point when it's on half health it would uh, kind of sit out for a moment but it would spawn eight enemies around me and I'm like oh I don't know how to really like deal with that um, like I've got one singular move that can attack multiple enemies but it didn't particularly like it was way too pricey magic point wise it was just it wasn't practical enough um, so I'm like, okay, let's, you know, wander around, try and find some things. I didn't find anything worthwhile. I just was like, okay, well, I can fight some enemies outside, I can grind some levels. But if I'm grinding levels, am I doing something wrong, or is this game actually poorly designed? 
I really want to weigh that up in my head. Because it's been a while since I've played a JRPG that's actually required grinding like that. Maybe at the end of the game, maybe, but I've never really encountered one midway. I played through Golden Sun on stream recently, no grinding. I played uh, all the Dragon Quests, except for 10, and a fair number of them do require grinding, but I can safely say at least like the DS versions of 4, 5, 6 onwards don't particularly need grinding, and especially not Dragon Quest 8 and 11. They actually seem very, very fairly balanced. Um, obviously I played these Pokemon I haven't grinded. Um, I'm gonna completely disregard uh, playing Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3. Um, there's just so much grinding in, in 1, 2, and 3. I don't know. Uh, I'll play Final Fantasy 4 at some point. I'll continue on with those. Um, uh, I don't think Legend of Heroes had any, like, particular grinding that needed to be done. It was pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I think the only other JRPG I played, I played Chrono Trigger that didn't require grinding, really. Uh, Xenoblade had enough side content to justify it. Uh, and for reference, I'm already doing the side content in, 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 uh, Nino Kuni. I'm already fighting all these, like, strong optional bosses that you gotta fight. I'm already doing the collection quests, I'm already... Even, like, trying to figure out how to, um... Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of, lot of things. So I'm like, okay, I don't feel like I'm under level. So I'm like, okay, let's just go on Game Facts. Let's just not, not look up a guide, but look up forum answers. See if people are saying some things about this area. Well, definitely a lot of people are, uh, but the responses were quite mixed. I found about, like, three quarters or 80% of the, the things were saying, the game is rather easy. And, you know, there's not really any hard reason to, you know, that you're struggling here other than you suck or you're not good at JRPGs. And I'm like, well, I'm taking a bit of offense to that. What, what do you mean I'm bad at JRPGs? Because I'm, uh, I'm dying on this boss. I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I've not had this much problem before. So I don't know. Uh, and then, but on the other hand, there were definitely a lot of people out there who were having problems on... Uh, maybe not this boss, maybe the boss before, maybe the boss before that, maybe some bosses afterwards, I'm not too sure. Um, but, there were definitely, you know, it's not unanimous that this boss was easy. I'm actually gonna say, let's get Babat out finally. Babat! Oh, just cause, just cause he's on low health. So, and I've got Bite, so, there we go. Let's get Babat some, you know, some fighting time as well. So, for reference as well, Babat is going to evolve the next level he gains when his happiness is above, or his friendship is above a certain point. And, uh, that... I don't know when that happens. He's died a bit, so it may be a bit later, but usually I find it's around level 28. It might be earlier, it might be later, it doesn't take that long given that I caught him at a pretty, you know, early level. So he may actually be pretty high up already. Um, but I can, I can safely say it wasn't high enough considering he's level 23. He evolved a, a level earlier and didn't, you know... You know, he didn't evolve at level 23, so... Who knows? But, you know, the more I fight with him without him dying, the better it will be. And he's Golbat, so he's, he's not going to struggle as hard as he once did. As a... As a Zubat. And then, yeah, he just he just keeps getting better, because Golbat is... It's not amazing, but he's pretty alright, especially our... You know, at level 22, does the job. Uh... But yeah, no, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, at least a quarter of the posts were saying the game was a bit hard at this point. And, uh, I think I saw some posts saying, uh, like, they kind of agree because you have to start fighting the AI once you get introduce your team party members. The game's got a real-time combat system, so the only way that you can really get your teammates to do things is if they're doing stuff on their own. And a lot of the time they just don't pick the smart moves. They'll just constantly do things that kind of seem okay to them. I saw one tip which was put them on play, uh, like, support healing. And that seemed to make my life a little easier, but I don't think it necessarily makes the boss die quicker. Um, I travel the world, to train my Pokemon. I wish to battle with you. Preston! So I'm playing this guy because I know he's got Rallus, so I can send out a uh, different Pokemon. Oh, wait a minute! 
Battle of the Level 18 Growlithe. So yeah, for reference, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the experience share until either just before the 7th gym, which honestly isn't too far away, but it's not this stream uh, close. We'll just go with that. Oh, rip that, Growlithe. Uh, but yeah, so, and then came a load of just, like, you know, tips that I'm like, who would really figure this out? So some of them were like, oh, like, I've been using this team comp, or this, like, monster, and it's been, you know, it's been doing me wonders. And I'm like, well, one, I'm stuck where I am. Like, I can go outside of the dungeon and fight, but I can't, like, I can't go to where your specific things are. I'm kind of locked in this area. So... I kind of have to use the team I've got. On top of that as well, I've only gotten, like, the ability to capture, uh, well, I mean, my total party is about 15 monsters, so I've got a choice of quite a few things, but I don't have a particularly, like, large selection for the nine that end up on my team. Never mind, there's also my teammates seem to keep picking either of the first two selected slots of, of monsters they've got, and not the third one. I've never seen them use the third one. They just, they just don't, so... I don't know if they cycle through them, but they're definitely not uh, doing a particularly great job of that one. Uh, yeah, okay, I got. I was thinking, it's like, oh, do I have the health for this one? I'll go with a yes. My last Connie. There we go. They got Meryl. They're good. Uh, so this is points for Chicky. I'm glad that there's actually a variety of Pokemon in this tower as well, just to... Oh. Oh. Oh, don't you dare. I don't know, it's a good variety of, of Pokemon. You got some water types, you got some flying types, you got some fire types. And that's kind of it for the variety, isn't it? But, you know, it's, it's something at least. Ah, my Pokemon. <laughs> I believe if you drop down here, you actually end up in front of this guy who ends up fighting you as well. So just as a bit of a meme. Like this, this fella's in the way. And he's got a poly well, who's level 20, so that can actually kind of kick you butt if you weren't expecting it, but it's not too bad. Oh. Uh, but yeah, no, so the rest of the tips were like, oh, like, I used a specific team comp, or I had, like, so many items, which, by the way, my team keeps running out of magic points, and that kind of implies that either I'm underleveled, or I'm just not buying enough magic point healing items. But, I fight enemies, I get about 80 to 100 gold, like, a piece for fighting an enemy. The price of the item that replenishes 30 magic points out of my 100, which I keep using, like, 15 in a single attack, it costs 800 gold. So it takes about eight random battles to get one of these, and I need, like, at least like ten to at least get through the fight, never mind my team just decides to not heal very often, my teammates don't use items very much, I can't tell how much magic my teammates have in battle, that's just not on screen. You have to switch to them to be able to really, like, know. This guy's standing next to an ether, so nothing that's, like, you know, amazing, but, you know, it's cool. Also, it's the fun part. This is already the top, so, uh... Yeah, might as well. Yeah, I was like, mm, do I do it? Yeah. She's not up to it now, so how about you? This guy's a bit earnest. He's got him a chop! necessarily think I've got something that, like, takes on the chop, but I do have no arm boy, which is good enough. It's good enough for me. It does have low kick, which is a bit of a mean move, but I'm also ground type and not rock type, so <laughs> if you send a rock type, you're gonna be a bit stuffed against a fighting type Pokemon like this, but it's not too bad. Also, uh, take some notes because, uh, Cough Cough next to Jim is, uh, maybe fighting type. Up dog over to level 19. 169. It's got he's got two much ops as well, so. Uh what's another thing? What's another strat? Um, there's apparently 
very specifically on the island I'm on, there's a very rare chance that I find a monster that gives a lot of experience when you kill him. I have not seen this monster in the 20 minutes of me grinding outside. Because I kind of was like, is the grinding worth it? I don't know, but I couldn't find it. The area is too small, so it's not spawning like all the time, and I don't really know how to get it to spawn. Or someone just told me something that's completely bunk, and just no one gives me experience. Uh, who knows? Um, well, that's another bad tip. Uh, people saying, yeah, people saying my team comp was bad, or alternatively, people saying that my team comp, uh, I think this is a much better move than specifically water gun, because I'm not going to need it. So Amnesia raises your special defense by two stages, which actually is a really good attack, uh, or a really good move to use. And it's got a poly well, so, uh, I feel like I would use in slam again, because I don't think you can really do anything too rough. But yeah, so, what was another, yeah, another bad one was that, like, oh, all teams are fine. Because, like, on the flip side, I'm like, well, my team comp's not working, and I don't really know, like, how to balance things out. Because I'm like, okay, you want something that can deal a lot of damage, you want someone who can heal or do, like, spells at a distance, but then they run out of PP all the time. Which puts me in a bit of a weird spot. Like, I don't know what's going on there. And then it's like, well, I've got three party members, and so, like, I'm thinking, should there be, like, a debuff or an aggro stealing kind? But I've got nothing that does debuffs or aggro steals. I've got one thing that has a chance to put the opponent to sleep, which never works on bosses. So there's, there's a lot of that. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Uh, and then there's just other aggravating things that happen during the fight. Like, uh, almost all the bosses so far have a hits everyone for, like, half their health kind of attack. And that's okay, because I can defend, which, by the way, why do some monsters not have the ability to defend? Like, I understand some evade, and that's that's fine, but... No defense monsters seem like they're absolutely sitting ducks whenever that's the thing, and that just means I will get completely wrecked. So head to the top here, and you've got little Jasmine up here going, This Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. Oh my gosh. I understand that there's this wonderful, wonderful pharmacy in Cyanwood that's across the sea. And I can't leave Anthe unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Eh. And there comes the nose. Every single time I do a stream, my nose gets stuffy, and I don't know why. Actually, I, I don't know if you have to talk to this. I don't know, I think you actually do have to talk to it first. So there's a couple more trainers in here, but I'm a little bit weak, so I am gonna drop down to the end, but I'm actually surprised I could just walk there. I love this though, where it's like you got a little step here and then just like two spaces down, you can just go down the floor. It's so good, it's such a great fun way to leave the dungeon. So, yeah, I, I just thought, man, there's a lot of a lot of things going on. I don't know if I'm just, you know, doing things wrong. And especially, I found that I've struggled on boss fights. Like, I haven't particularly had a very easy time doing them, but I've at least been okay at, like, trying maybe once or twice. Just maybe the first time I know how the boss works, and then the second time I, I get him, like, that's okay. Um, but, like, this one legitimately was getting me a lot. So I put it off for the night. I come back tomorrow morning. And I beat the boss. In no sweat. And the big difference? The part where the boss spawns with the other enemies, I also did a defense move on the boss, and it spawned one of those golden orbs, which when I pick it up, my monster gains regains 75% of his health, and he also gets to use the super move, and that super move conveniently deals 200 damage to everyone on the field, including all the monsters that just appeared, which also spawned three more gold orbs, because I did something right, I don't know. Uh, and I kind of scratch my head going, I just won this boss fight by a complete fluke, and that's a main mechanic of the game that technically every boss is going to have. And I'm not 100% sure how to feel about that. That feels... it feels odd to me. I don't know, man. I, if, if anyone else has played the game, am I weird in thinking that, or is... Like, is that actually how the game should be? It, I don't feel like I'm legitimately winning these fights if stuff like that happens. And on the flip side, I don't like the game being that hard when that stuff doesn't happen. I don't like 
I mean, I mean, I know, I know, it's like, oh, you're asking for the game to be easier. I don't know how to, like, I don't know if I'm just having, like, a terrible time. Uh, by the way, I, as I was browsing the forums, yeah, I saw a lot of people claim the game was easy, and then also later said they were playing on easy, and then, really big brain move, one guy said the game was so easy, and then said they only played the demo, and they, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, that hurts, so. Hey, Rabby! Hopefully you guys don't mind me constantly switching out to, to Growlithe on this. Like, I know Growlithe's not getting their time to shine, but they're in a kind of unfortunate part where one, they're underleveled, and two, I'm just about to sail across the ocean and everyone's gonna have water-type Pokemon. And so, Growlithe needs to be higher level eventually, but, but will never have the opportunity to do it unless I'm doing this. And that's okay, because for the moment, you know, you can spread out experience, and it's not really, a, like, a biggie. Because, I mean, you're just halving the experience for one Pokémon, but you're applying it to two, so the net number of experience isn't changing, really. I can't manage a smile, either. Aww. Uh, so I believe... there we go, it's nine here. So TM34 is, I believe, Swagger, which is an uh, absolutely hilarious attack. It raises the attack of your opponent, but also makes them confuse. It's it's a good meme as well, because uh, if you hit yourself with confusion, it's based on your attack stat. So it actually risk-rewards it a bit nicer than you'd typically expect, and I love that. Uh, so let's switch out to Fluffer, because they're uh, flying. So yeah, uh, that being said, like, as much as I'll rip into this current gameplay component of Nino Kuni, I do really like the presentation, I think it's juggling a lot of mechanics, and I'm really looking forward to not experiencing a tutorial after a while, like, jeez, it's just like, oh, okay, well, you thought you were comfortable with everything, we're gonna introduce a new move that you can use in the middle of a fight, and I'm like, I'm, I'm tending towards, like, 16 hours into the game now, and is this... Are we good? Or can we can we chill with the the number of like new mechanics? Um, like if I was playing Chrono Trigger, I'd be done by now. So who knows? Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, bit of a bit of a rant, but who knows? That's the fun part with games is that everyone has a bit of a fun different experience. Uh, especially in some of these RPGs, and especially these, like, monster capture style RPGs. A lot of people can be coming at us with, like, very different teams. I don't know, I think a lot of people probably would come, uh, go to this game with a, a Flaffy, but, uh... Oh, yeah, he sends that Firo, yeah. Firo is actually a mean one, because he's got a lot of attack, and he's fast. And he's gonna use Fury attack. That's gonna hit four times, and that's gonna be kind of mean. And all I've got is this measly Thundershock, which I don't think it's gonna work. He hits twice? Nope, I'm dead. I'm gone. Well, it would have hit more times as well, based on that reaction. Uh, we'll send Babat out. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Cool. Well, we'll see if that... <laughs> that's enough friendship. Oops, they crashed. Nah, not yet. Alright. So yeah, so if you go up this way up the, the tower, you actually reach this weird point where it just kind of dead ends. And you're supposed to just realize that the other pit there is where you're supposed to go. But a rare candy is nice, because it's pretty level. Anyways, that's the tower. I was not expecting to get uh, this far through everything in 54 minutes, and hey, I'm still streaming for another hour, so... This is going to put me in a fun position as well, isn't it? May I see your Pokémon? Yeah, so now... This, this is a kind of interesting part of the game where you're like, okay, well, I go up to the top of the tower, they asked me to get some 
some, uh, you know, some medicine. And Cyanwood is across the sea. And also you can chat to this person. And they're like, oh, glad to meet you. I'm Monica of Monday. As a token of our friendship, I have a gift for you. You get this sharp beak. And that's kind of cool. So there's a person on every day of the week somewhere that will give you a fun item. So this is something that increases the power of flying type attacks, which is a type that I have nothing invested in, but sure, okay. Uh, if you rock smash these, there's a 10% chance to get Shuckle, and I wonder if I actually did try and use Shuckle on my team. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Let's go for it. I'm pretty sure you can get a Shuckle in the next area as well, but I think it'll be fun to have my own Shuckle. So, there's a 10% chance that when the Rock Smash Rock uh, gives me a Pokemon, uh, you just gotta go out of the area. It's not too bad. There's a 10% chance that when you do it, you actually get a Shuckle and not just uh, Krabby. You're going to see probably quite a few Krabbies right now, because 10% is not particularly high, but... I do kind of want Shuckle as a good meme. I don't know if Shuckle will necessarily be something I do want on my team, but it's something I can kind of, like, understand playing around. Unfortunately, that also means Shuckle is going to be, like, even more low level, because this is level 15. This is on the lower side. Again, you could work around them. Like, if Growlithe's level 19 now, I could probably work around it, but... So yeah, other than that, uh, the world is a fun and interesting place, as it's been for a long time. But, uh, if there's one thing, I'm a little bit bummed, because I've constantly kept mentioning it's like, oh, Bitcoin's coming down, and suddenly then Amazon hints that maybe they'll accept cryptocurrency, and suddenly the stock value goes up to 38,000 US dollars. So all that decline throughout the year is now reversed in one week. Uh, I guess, like, you know, uh, by principle, I don't really want any, like, you know, you know, third-party involvement in the pricing of Bitcoin, and I kind of feel like, yeah, I mean, it's not legal currency, and I can understand, like, government's kind of wanting to step in on tax reasons. But I also kind of go, well, you know, like, it, this mining it, especially, mining it, it gets in the way of me buying a graphics card. I, I see that kind of stuff, and I go, yeah, my 1080 Ti is, is doing well, it's really, really good, but... You know, I, I don't get to experience that RTX, and I do like being on that bleeding edge, and... And, uh, without, you know, the cheapest, I guess, like... Well, I mean, you can get, like, RTX 2000s, but the cheapest RTX 3000 I've seen, the th uh, 3060, the cheapest one I've seen is 900 Australian. Uh, like, it's still a fair bit, but it's like, that card is not going to do any better than my 1080 Ti in any other, like, use case. Um, and yet, I, I paid a thousand bucks for my 1080 Ti, like, three years ago. Like, the performance for price hasn't really gone, like, you know, relative to that, but 100% like it shot up, first of all, when these cards were not available. I think a card, like, I would kind of like either a, a, a 3080 Ti, even though I know that's like two and a half grand now. But like, Hey, there he is. Yeah, I, I knew it wouldn't take too long. A bit long, but not too long. Uh, what do I even use on him? So for reference, Shuckle is Bug Rock. Which puts him in the kind of interesting camp where, yeah, I don't really know what to attack him with. I guess I'll just use uh, Ember, because I think that's going to be... Is that super effective against Bug, or...? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Whoa! Uh, okay. Of course, okay. The burn is going to be interesting, though. Uh, so, the burn will make him easy to catch, but it also means he is 100% going to die at some point. Uh, so, I'm probably going to start throwing balls here. Oh, but he does have... He does have the berry. He did have a berry. Now he doesn't have a berry. I'm still going to chuck balls at him. Uh, again, yeah, the burn's going to make it a little bit of an easier catch. I don't think he's too hard to catch. 
Oh, that would have been hilarious if that works first time. Who you knows? Every, every single time I, I throw a ball, he's gonna take damage from that burn, so... Come on! Come on there! But yeah, no. One day we'll be able to afford graphics cards. One day. That's three times now. That's three times I've thrown the Pokeball and he's just gone. I'm gonna shake three times. I'm not gonna do it. You know what's actually something kind of neat about this game is that, like, uh, the next gen, Ruby Sapphire introduced something called Natures, where Pokemon's, like, stats will be higher in one stat, lower in another stat. And, uh, this game doesn't have it, so if I catch this guy, like, his stats are just gonna be, like, there's just gonna be IVs, it's just... Whatever, whatever random roll, like, decides to boost some stats. Getting a little tired of these, uh, three, three wiggles. I would really like to catch the shuckle now. There you go. You're welcome. Ah, oh, I love your shuckle. The berries it stores in its vase like shell decompose and become a gooey liquid. Uh, what are we gonna call him? He's got a weird, like, look because he is a bug, but. Oh, sorry, she! She! My little, little Shucky. Uh. I'm gonna call him the Juicer. Oh, I could do it the as well, actually, yeah. Yeah! Yeah, the Juicer! Oh, thanks, thanks, Gina. Good evening, man. Now this is Gina. Where you want to battle? I'm gonna win this time. I'm gonna win the round three, four. I've already fought Gina, so she's still, she is still gonna have the same team, isn't she? Maybe. Oh, I'm, I'm not going back for that at the moment. We can have your Pokemon. The perfect girl. Shall we have your Pokemon? Whoops. Didn't realize you're just giving away that easy. Yeah, so other than that, uh, this is gonna be a fun... Lots of trainers down, a flight of stairs, and I should really bring Chucky with me. I realized as well, I was like, well, I've got Surf and I don't need anything else for the moment, so... Here's a question as well. Uh, do I have any Pokemon that could possibly learn Fly who is not, uh... Who is not, a Gold that. And the answer is... I don't really think so, so I guess I'm probably going to be <laughs> swimming back. That's okay, the swim is not too bad. Just buy Repel, just, just wing it. Uh, I think the, the bland part of what's probably going to happen is that I'm going to have Growlithe up front wanting to gain experience because Growlithe needs to learn A attack and... Oh. You got these trainers out here. You have to wake up we're going to water, that's basic. I don't think you said wake up, but I don't know. That's almost a dab, but not quite. It's it's a little weak. Anyway, yeah, be prepared to fight a lot of water type Pokemon. This is the one part of the main game where, yeah, there's gonna be water types all over the place. Um so and this is prime real estate for missing trainers as well. Usually a lot of people stop caring about like fighting all the trainers when they get to the water portion of the game because it's, you know, you're not being railroaded through like one like narrow corridor, you get these like wide canals. The uh, first game did this as well, it's like, just got this like... Ah, oh, really? I got PlayStation Networked already. Wow. Uh, but yeah, no, legit, I'm just scrolling through. So there's four people in this route, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the next route. There's, there's a lot of trainers, but then again, I guess we went through a lot in the lighthouse already. 
And this is what I meant by like this part's the stream's probably gonna have a lot of just me fighting trainers and just my Pokemon are gonna casually level up and we'll see how we go, but yeah, for the <laughs> for the short term, yeah, it's it's gonna be a stream of fighting things. But you know, that's a little par for the course for Pokemon. And that's their fault for I just forgot poison sting as well. Oh my gosh, really? What's the rate on Poison Sting? Isn't it like 30%? It's a bit, but it's not like that high, is it? That's a bit crazy, isn't it? Actually, gonna get him or no? Oh no, we're good. We're good. We got the crit. We're safe. So that was one trainer out of 14. Oh boy. Alright, back on. Back up. I am sorry for the seizure, everyone. Uh. Yeah, other than that, I think... Oh yeah, EA announced a bunch of, like, new games. I didn't pay attention to it. I also have completely forgot Sony did theirs two weeks back. I haven't watched either of them. I watched all the other E3 stuff, and I even sat through the six-hour indie live expo. And yet, Sony escaped the radar. And I think it was because... One, I stopped looking at Reddit. Like... That's honestly been a good one for me. Just like, you know, I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna look at Reddit game deals and that's it. You know? It's pretty okay. I'm not missing out on any discussions there. Uh, and then the other one as well is that I, I um, started using a Twitter um, standalone client. I'm starting to use a Tweet Duck, which is not quite Tweet Deck. It's almost the same, but not quite. Um, and I'm not showing trends. I'm just going, here's the things I follow and that's it. And there's something quite raw and, uh, like, genuine about, like, <laughs> my interactions based on that, and, yeah, it's, it, it kind of feels good not having, like, advertising or, because trends are advertising as well. That's the part that, like, hurts. Even if you got, like, ad block, it's like, yeah, I mean, sometimes those, those are just literally, like, you know, whatever Twitter thinks on the day, or whatever, you know, a Reddit post floats to the top. Maybe not necessarily sponsored, <laughs> but definitely, like, I can 100% guarantee that, like, people will fake, like, traffic to Reddit just to, like, promote their own product. Uh, and that's a bit, that's a bit inescapable given, you know, how Reddit works, but, like, given how all social networking works, isn't that, like, you know, a huge problem with how, how all social network stuff works? Is that, like, you know... You get recommended things and you got no idea, like, where that's coming from. You can say an algorithm, but it's like, eh, I mean, there's something nice about just like, hey, like, here's a system where nothing gets recommended to me and I just find things. So, like, I I'm okay with, like, things going like, oh, here's a topic and here's something that's got a lot of, you know, like, attention. But then, like, what I see is purely based on the things I follow. So things like RSS, it's like, it's as raw as you can get, and I love it for that. Um, YouTube does a surprisingly good job of playing both ways. Like, apart from the whole fiascos of, uh, when, you know, when they stopped providing notifications to everyone and instead, instead, like, started, like, forcing people to use the bell. Um, and then they kind of, like, backtracked it a little bit, and now the bell seems like it serves one purpose, which is to give you notifications about when someone uploads a video and not just you checking your subscriptions. Which, I don't mind, I just check my subscriptions anyway, because I like having the feed of, like, when, you know, what were all the last videos uploaded. Um, and that's something as well, I, kn I know that, like, as a YouTuber, you get that metric on how many people, you know, use the bell. And I'm like, oh, I mean, I don't want people, like, look at it and go, like, oh no, people aren't hitting the bell, they don't know that I'm uploading videos. Uh, but... Oh, I love Shoulder. I love him. Or her. It's a her. Ah, the lyrics keep coming at me with supersonic speed. Uh, 
Ah, oh, no. Am I gonna get confused to death? Oh no, I might be. I might be getting confused to death. He's got a roar beam. Oh. Oh. I guess it's shoulder. I don't. I don't know why I expected much, but you know. What do you expect other than not to be able to hit anything? It's a bit disappointing. Oh, we got Chicky. So I believe the next gym... Oh, I don't know what level he's gonna be. I know that you have to be level 30. Coming up. I think level 30 is like a, a key level to be. So, so that's a bit, actually there's not even that much, like, that many trainers to get to level 30, so that's gonna be a fun one. You're gonna be, you're gonna be able to fight a level 30. So, uh, yeah, I, I've definitely enjoyed, uh, not being off the grid, because that sounds, that sounds too, uh, superstition-y, but you, you know what I mean. I, I like this idea of just, like, being so in control of my social media to the point where I never see anything recommended. I don't like seeing things recommended because I don't like the idea of, you know, that, like, traffic being just, uh, like, inauthentic. I like the idea of me going, hey, like, this is something that someone who I enjoy also enjoys. Like, directly. That as a physical person who I admire, who goes, hey, I liked this, and I'm like, hey, you know what, that, that's a pretty funny as well, so. And there's just something, yeah, you miss when it goes to an algorithm, because sometimes, like, it's a miss, and you go, oh, this algorithm just missed on me. And then when it's a hit, and you go, yeah, but, like, I don't know, it, does, it doesn't feel right. It, it doesn't feel right, like, having stuff like that. And, and I, I understand recommendation systems have to exist in a lot of places, and I don't mind it on things like, you know, like, um... I, I, I guess your Netflix or your is Steam does a good job because it's like, oh, it's a storefront. Like, it makes sense in that one. Social media, it's like its purpose shouldn't really be... This is going to kind of hurt a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Not too much. But it's because Ice is super... Fa oh, it's a crit as well. Um, I don't know. I, I just feel like, yeah, I, I don't go to social media to be, like... I mean, I don't want to go to social media to be advertised to. I guess that's a... That's a... Interesting part, isn't it? Like, it's an inevitability. It's like, well, when it's big business, it kind of has to have advertising. It's like, you know, public tele- not public television. It's like free to air television. It's like, well, it's it's free. Someone's got to, you know, put the lights on. Uh, but then alternatively, it's like, well, it's a service that reaches a lot of people. So, you know, it's it's natural in that regard. I love that this person's got a war turtle as well, by the way. Like, just... Again, with the whole, someone's got a starter from, from Kanto. Just, just casually. Um, it is probably because they found out that the, um, that, you know, Pokemon can breed now. So suddenly everyone has, has a starter. At least these starters. Maybe, maybe your starters are newly discovered. So they'll never, you know, they don't know that they exist. Thank you, Randall. So I believe that's all the people in Route 40 here, but yeah, then there's all the ones in 41 uh, still ongoing. I will try my best to, to fight them, although, uh, who knows, for time, we'll see, but I think I should be alright though. Given that it's only, yeah, hour 14 into the stream, I think there may be time to even get both gyms. What do you say? That'd be amazing, because I've been doing like one gym a stream. Well, <laughs> except for that first stream, but, you know, grand us all that one. Uh, on the flip side as well, uh, Tweet Duck has been serving, like, my purpose really well of, like, trying to follow what someone is doing, because Twitter has done a weird job in not telling me everything people are doing. It doesn't, like, show me when someone likes something, uh, all the time. I understand it's like, well, I mean, like, what's the difference between a like and a retweet at that point? And I was like, yeah, kinda, but... 
you know, sometimes it shares your like, and sometimes it doesn't, but it always shares a retweet. And then you've got quote tweets, and you've got replies, and it's like, mm, you got you got a lot of things going on Twitter. Also, this tentacle is level 24. This tentacle is level 24. They can be at max level, level 24. Uh, they're also maybe tentacruels in the next route. Also at most level 24, and Mantine. I'm just going to take it with Hot Dogger, because it's not like he's going to a fight. Ah, uh, so... <laughs> let me try and figure out the, the way to go on this one. He's doing the dab! So I believe... Yeah, so I believe what this is is that this is like a... A backwards L-shaped route, so you come in... I don't know why I decided to run that one. Uh, you come in via the top the northeast, and you gotta go west, and you can kinda go the long way, or you can kinda go the short way. So I guess I'm going the long way by going around to this guy. Um, let's send out Fluffer, because Fluffer's not gonna get as much love uh, coming up as as uh, Chicky will. And this is the person with six Pokemon, aren't they? Oh, it's one of those people. Lots of stuff there. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I found TweetDux has been pretty good because I get to see my feed of exclusively tweets and retweets. Uh, sorry, tweets and replies and quote tweets. Like, very specifically, I am making new content kinds of stuff. And then it's specifically got an activity feed of showing retweets and likes as its own thing. And, like, it, all of that stuff. And I'm like, you know, that's actually kind of nice. And then on top of that, like, really on top of that, yeah, I can have a column for, uh, like, what is a specific person doing. Um, so I've actually <laughs> got my, uh, my casual, my Ricky Berwick uh, column where I literally go, Nice! Nice! Gets poison again. Uh, my Ricky Berwick column that's showing me all of his random replies that I'll do to random people. Um, and it's great, because I can see the stuff in, like, the order he intends it, and not just, like, whenever Twitter deems it necessary. And I know Twitter's got, you know, home and they've got latest tweets, and latest tweets does a pretty good job of giving things in order, but not all of them. <laughs> it definitely doesn't do likes in order. Uh, pet violence. Oh, exactly. Yeah, I mean, these are, these are jellyfish, okay? Like, jellyfish don't get treated very well while in the wild. Freaking people smush them really hard. Poor jellyfish, bro. The worst part about Tentacruel is that, yeah, because they're water poison, I fully anticipate a poison-type attack to come hit me, and then on, on top of that, my grass-type attacks are not super effective. Um, and water poison is a... Pardon the pun, it's a cruel combo. Because, yeah, like, I think that is the only type that's super effective against it, is it not? Or maybe Psychic, Psychic as well. But, like, you can't do much against Water Poison. Uh, let me just scroll down. I'm pretty certain type of effect in this. Uh, oh, Ground as well, Ground as well. Uh, I, I don't have any plans to make Growlithe, like, overleveled, so don't worry about that. Once Growlithe is pretty fine, it's gonna be Shuckle, who's gonna be in the firing line. Um, I guess I could send out Babat. Like, I know Babat's a little higher level than everyone else, somehow. I, <laughs> I got no idea how. Who is the juicer? <laughs> the juicer is Shuckle. Uh, I just caught him, so he's only level 15, uh, and, but I do want, I do need Growlithe to be a higher level rather soon, so I'm kind of bumping Growlithe up. I had Growlithe at a, like, I caught him at level 14 just before I went into, um, the last city, which would have been in the last, like, uh, I guess in terms of playtime, that would have been an hour 40, hour 45 ago in terms of playtime, so kind of recent. Um, and yeah, it was level 14, so it's it's gotten away of me putting it at the beginning of the party and constantly switching into it every single time I uh, want to give it experience, which is all the time right now. Um, 
And yeah, it, it doesn't get a lot of uh, love right now because everything's water type right now. So I'm like, yeah, I could start using it, but should I? I don't know. Um, the other ones as, as well, if you're, if you're new and you haven't seen my team. So Chickius is Chikorita. Uh, we got Noam Boy is the Quagsire. Um, Babat is currently a Golbat. Um, Hot Doggo is Growlithe. And, uh, yeah, uh, who was this? Fluffa is, uh, Flappy. Uh, and if you don't know, uh, Pokemon, the Pokemon will evolve at some point, and they'll, they'll turn into a new form, and they'll become, you know, super fancy. Uh, apart from Quagsire and the Juicer, the Juicer does not evolve. <laughs> uh, these other four will evolve at some point. Um, so, yeah, uh, just, just, just just for the randos, because I know that there's going to be some people watching this who will be like, Oh, what's going on here? What, what is he what is he doing? Um, and then, yeah, here we go. Remoraid. I love Remoraid as a Pokemon. I don't know. I, I like the idea of, like, how he bites onto a Mantine's, like, wing. And it just stays there forever. Eternally there. I wonder if they intended to have Mantine's, like, pre-evolution Mantike in the game. And they just never did. Um... Or maybe it was like an anime idea. Uh, fortunately, by the way, none of these other trainers have six Pokemon, so don't worry about that. He's doing illegal pet fighting on the Game Boy. Uh, so I'm gonna start traveling west, because it'll probably be easier for me to like keep going west. There's a Mantine! I love to see the little Remoraid there! Mantine's really cool. Uh, also going to ruin my day if I don't send Babat out first. I know, I gotta awkwardly switch to Babat, because Babat's got the speed. On that, we'll go this way and we'll fight a few trainers as I go along, but... Tentacles are really fast as well, like, you wouldn't expect them to be fast, but... Yeah, nah, they're generally mean. People sleep on Tentacle because they're so, like, common. You don't expect that they're actually, like, rather decent. Um, so yeah. Uh, this route has basically the same encounters as the last route. I don't think it's particularly any different, apart from, yeah, just seeing Mantine. Imagine evolving from love. Well, I mean, that's that's what Babat is. He is he is the love machine. Colbat is a loser. What? What? How many Pokemon evolved from friendship in this game? I think at least, like, six. I would never evolve. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how monkeys evolve? Because we all love monkeys. And then, and then humanity's like, return the monkey. That's exactly... We figured it out. We <laughs> figured out the Charles Darwin theory. I've, I've just stayed on Flapper for some reason. Oh... <laughs> uh. This constrict, I swear. Gosh, are you tired of water type Pokemon? I swear, man. There's quite a few of them. Oh, he's got a Tentacruel. Oh boy. Alright. Here we go. We got the Hop Doggo. He's coming out again. Oh boy. Tentacruel always looks like he's about to sell me something quite illicit. You know, he's always he's always got that look about him. I don't trust him. Let me just pull up Tentacruel's, like, base stats as well, because I'm pretty sure, like, they're gnarly as. Uh, but I've got Bite, so that's okay. Oh, that's... That's, that's not as okay, hold on. Wait, someone's gonna yell at me because they look at the base stats. No, it's a special defense. This regular defense is okay, this is just Golbat being a bit of a weakling. So yeah, but yeah, I'm looking at his stats. He's got 515 total stat, which is, like, it's kind of high, sure. And then, 120 special defense, 100 speed, 80 HP, 80 special attack, and then 70 attack, 65 defense. So his physical stat's not amazing, but it's like, the special attack is, is rather okay. Uh, and then that special defense plus his HP, it's like, ooh. <laughs> Dude, he's already broken his legs, but he's got tentacle legs. 
Can something with tentacles, like, legitimately, like, walk on land? Like, like, are they rigid enough to try and walk on land? Or is it like, nah, you, you kind of have to pull yourself over. I'll make my way to the Whirl Islands. I'm going exploring with friends. The Whirl Islands is a fun place that you can look at and not enter right now. And actually not enter for a while. They're just there. Kaylee! Goldine! fight that I can legitimately use Chicky in all, all the stages. Goldfish. Now, okay, if Tentacruel wants to break my legs, Goldeen is just, like, judgmental. As... 22! Angeti. Why is Goldine actually, like, so upset? I- I feel like Goldine and Seeking are, like, very, like, weird evolutions as well, because Seeking just seems like a complete, like, personality shift as well. Um, I guess similar to how, like, Charizard in the anime, like, he, um... You know, like, Charmander is just, like, this faithful as freaking Pokemon, and then the moment he's Charizard, he just becomes this, like, edgy, like, eh, I'm not gonna fight. I'm legitimately just gonna make you lose in your freaking, like, Indigo Plateau freaking challenge just because I, I don't feel like it. Spoiled rich kid. Exactly. Exactly. And it's just like, who does that? Like, I mean, what, what actually was the, 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 like, world lore reason why Charizard decided to not care? Like, was it because he just thought he was so good he didn't, like, feel like fighting anyone, and so when he had like a proper competition he'd really get on it, and so um, like when he was fighting Blaine, like that was one time he'd legitimately fight, but then like yeah, Indigo Plateau, nah, it's nothing, it's nothing like. I think there's a, a lot of times in the films where like Charizard gets to be the Deus Ex Machina device, I, I think there's, there's that where Charizard is a little, a little too good for his own, own good, but West, young Lapras Sprite. Well, as long as I don't fight a level 24 tentacle, I think I'm okay. Hot Doggo's getting a bit... He's getting the level, so he's, he's doing... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess it's to be expected, me. Have you played Pokemon Unite? I have not played Pokemon Unite, but I have watched a friend play it, and I've looked at it and I've gone, well, I'm... <laughs> I've never been a MOBA guy, so I've... I've tried playing... Very, very briefly, ages ago, I, I played League, like, for, like, two games. I tried actually getting into Dota at one point, like, four or five years ago. Uh, it just wasn't for me. I played Heroes of the Storm a bit. Um, I can't think of any other MOBAs I have played. I played Battleborn when they did a technical demo. Does that count? Uh, so I don't know, but... Yeah, no, Pokemon Unite, I was like, oh, it's a MOBA, hasn't really intrigued me. Uh, and watching a friend play, I've gone, you know, it's it's got a few uh, mechanical differences. I guess that's one thing, is it? Yeah, Pokemon Unite is a new game that came out <laughs> since I uh, started streaming last week, but yeah. Also, welcome to Cyanwood, the place where your poison does not go away. Which one's the Pokemon Center? I think it's over here. There we go. Good thing my Flaffy did not die. Um... But yeah, at least looking at Pokemon Unite, I can go, yeah, there's a, like, that's a, that's a good use of the Pokemon license, I feel. <laughs> if I had to put it very generously, I'd say that. It's like, yeah, it's got a lot of Pokemon. Um, it's got, uh, here's some advice. The gym leader uses the fighting type, so you should confound him with psychic Pokemon. Wipe out his Pokemon before they can use their physical strength. That's a, quite a few types. Did you meet the Pokemon? He's always bragging about his rare Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna go out in the water, because I do need a bit more, a bit more of that experience. Because this is the thing, is that a lot of people, like, just kind of go, and they miss out on all these wonderful trainers that are sitting out here. A night star you gather near the water surface. That is 100% true, by the way. <laughs> it, if using good rod, it's a 10% chance it's a Corsler in morning and daytime, and at nighttime, it's 0%, but then Staryu appears. That is an actual tip. 
I'm glad that this game has a lot of, like, useful dialogue like that. This horse is gonna cop it, though. I'm curious if I actually am over up for the, for the gym. I don't think I am, actually. I think he is gonna be around level 30, so... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope for the best on this one. But, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, no, I... I'm glad that you're actually enjoying Pokemon Unite. I've definitely, like, I've seen the horror stories of it as, like, the pay-to-win aspect. It's not necessarily... Well, is it actually pay-to-win, or is it, like, pay-to-skip way tons of grinding? I, I've seen the items that have the mechanical advantage, so it's like... You can, you can get a hold item, and then you gotta level it up after so many matches worth of stuff. Um... And then it's like, it, there's at least a mild, but a, at least a non-detrimental, like, numerical advantage to using those items. Uh, so things like the leftovers, it's like, oh, it recovers a certain amount of your health per second. Um, if you can upgrade it, it recovers a slightly greater amount of your health per second, and it's kind of like, yeah, I can understand that being a thing. Um, I haven't paid anything and I win a decent amount. Oh, that's good that you actually, that you are winning a decent amount, though. And the other thing that kind of gets me about the game, uh, hey, Corn Towns, it's going. The other thing that gets me about Pokemon Unite is that after watching my friend play it, like, every single time, like, the match goes on for a bit, it takes its time starting off, you're doing a bit of pushes, you're doing a, a couple of sweeps, you know, the, the typical affair. And then, like, there's the mini-bosses, and then there's a Zapdos that spawns about, like, two minutes away from the end of the match, and, like, I'll say 85% of the time, the match goes the way of whoever captures the Zapdos. Have you found any Shinies in any Pokemon game? I found... I'm gonna say, like, three Shinies ever. One time, I had found a Shiny when I was playing Pokemon Sapphire. It was a Geodude. And then someone stole my cartridge, and I had to buy a new one. I know, right? It's absolutely painful. I, I feel like I had seen another Shiny... Uh, in an actual Pokemon game, but it's been surprisingly low. I have not, like, seen any other Shinies. The one exception is that, uh, back on my, on my YouTube channel, I, and unless you're actually on my YouTube, in which case, hi, uh, I started doing a Pokemon Gold Let's Play before I started getting a bit sidetracked with, uh, with university work. And there's a Tentacruel. He's level 22. And he's probably faster than the Hot Doggo. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit mean. Uh, flexing the chat there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I, I, I started playing specifically Pokemon Gold uh, before I, yeah, I kind of just got a bit too distracted to do it at the time. Um, and in that, there was a, a shiny Pidgey, like in, in part two, you can go back, you can see it, and I crit it and kill it <laughs> in one go. This is so early game and I wasn't expecting to use a Pidgey, but <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Um, I can't, I, I can't have, like, as perfect a, a shiny, you know, like, prediction as, uh, like, Chaga when he played Crystal and, and he wanted a, uh, coughing, and the first coughing he saw was a shiny. And he, and he went with it and used it on his team. And I'm like, that's an amazing, like, play right there, but also, like, like that. <laughs> the odds of me finding shinies, I mean, like, well, the odds of anyone finding a shiny, it's a 1 in 8,192 chance, and it's even better in more recent games, and I still have not had that chance, like, hit me that, that much. I know there's things you can do, you can do the, was it the Hatsuna method? Is that the name of the one? You can do, you can do things to, to tweak, to lean the, the shiny, uh, get Gyarados. I'm not quite get. Oh, we'll get into that in a little bit. I'm not counting, I'm not counting the red Gyarados that uh, we may not see in this stream, but we'll definitely see in the next stream. Uh, I'm not counting that Gyarados yet, um, because yeah, that is a set shiny encounter. One thing I really, I found a shiny gold bat in an emulator. Definitely, I I feel like if you find a shiny legitimately, like even in an emulator play, like it should count. I, I guess the problem is that, like, people hack their saves so much that you can't really, um, <laughs> you know, you know, like, you can't just see someone get a shiny, you kind of have to, like, watch them, sorry, you can't, you can't see someone have a shiny, you have to kind of watch them get the shiny through legitimate means. Maybe I should have done a dream, where it's like, oh, I've just changed the odds slightly, so it's like a 1 in 512 chance instead of 8,000. I should have pulled that. 
Dream plays shiny catching and just that happens. That'd be amazing. Actually, can't you do a thing where like you tweak what random Pokemon appears on the back? I would love to like... Are there like full Pokédex speedruns? Because I would love if like someone's been doing a dream the whole time and like just like, oh, I'm gonna change in the back what random Pokemon appears next. And then it's like, oh look, it's the Pokemon I need. And then they change the catch rate. I mean, you, you make the catch rate like kind of lean in your favor, but again... Because, like, legit, if people are crazy enough to pull that with Minecraft and, like, look at the rates and go, hmm, over the course of, like, eight months of streams, he's been, like, on the, like, like, 96th percentile of luck or something like that. Full <laughs> shiny dream style speedrun. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure no one is sadistic enough to, like, do a shiny speedrun, but I'm curious if full Pokédex speedruns are actually, like, done. You'd have to multi-segment them. It, like, the game takes too long normally. Oh, the crit bubble beam. Starmie is a meano. I, I, I want to say a meanie and a meano at the same time, so I just said a meano. Uh, but, like, Starmie is surprisingly good on the special attack, and he's got recover, so he can be an absolute jerk about it while he does it. Again, ah, uh, Starmie, Starmie is a meanie. Is this going to kill me? Ooh. Ooh. I'm coming fine there. I'm really coming fine. Thank you, Hot Doggo. I want to shinily only run on a, on a Pokemon game. I'll definitely say good luck on that one because, legit, if I can rarely find a shiny, I'm also going to be incredibly lazy, by the way. Someone's going to be like, why are you using items in the overworld? I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> why are you using items on the shackle? <laughs> I was like, ah, I don't. I know I gotta use some more electric types. I'm too lazy to go all the way back. Is this guy. I did fight this guy. Okay, so we're good there. I'm. I'm glad this guy also acknowledges the fact that like Cyan Wood is probably a bit closer than Olivine at this point. So I'm hoping that I know where the other trainers are. I'm. I'm maybe gonna miss one. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Hot Doggo! There he goes. I guess I'll stop at level 24. He doesn't really need to be... 24 or 25? I'm gonna go with 25. Where's the wild? I'll tell you out while I swim. But yeah, I'm going through like the, the trainers that I've gotten. And... I'm thinking there's... There's definitely this guy. I've got, I missed this one. This guy's got, uh, not one, but two Gyaradoses, and I'm gonna sneeze off to the side. <sighs> oh! I was like, the, the nose has been kind of feeling me the whole stream, and now, now it kicks in. So Gyarados is a bit mean, but also he's not too fast, and double weak to, to electric. And honestly, you should- Oh, come on! Well, okay, 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 I'll take the paralysis. I don't like the process now. That's not a good feeling. Oh. I kind of feel like Fluffer should just, like, deal the damage on this one. We'll just see how it goes. Oh boy. <laughs> He's cutting it fine. He's cutting it real fine on this one. Oh, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. Oh. Poor Fluffer. Uh, this is a bad bat. Yeah, it's a bit of a GG moment on that one. On the one hand, I wonder if, like, we're getting to that point now where it's like, uh, because cause you always find this with, with Pokemon, where it's like, until your Pokemon hit their max evolution, like, or rather, like, if they've got an evolution coming up, they'll always have this point where they feel like they're struggling. Uh, so, I'm thinking around, like, this time where, like, oh, this is level, you know, like, here's a level 21 Tentacruel who is not as fast as Growlithe now. Thank goodness. See those islands that are blocked by whirlpools? There just has to be a secret. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, but I, I hope you guys know what I mean, where it's like, yeah, if your Pokemon has yet to evolve, like, then they're getting close, 
You start feeling it really hard for some reason. I'm thinking, uh... Babat needs a bit more experience. No, oh boy, we'll get a lot of love, don't worry. We'll get a lot of love later on, but this is this is not the place for him, and he's not gonna have... I mean, he's already fully evolved as well, so he already has, like, a bit of a strength there. Quillfish is a weird one, because I don't think Quillfish is that particularly good, and he doesn't evolve, and they've never added an evolution for Quillfish. He has just existed in, in Pokemon space. He's, he's just there. Oh, <laughs> sorry, what? I want Reggie Gigas to crush my skull in his hand. I feel like there's a lot of Pokemon that would crush your skull if you if you let them. <laughs> this is peak physical form. Definitely. What's the secret to your strength? Ah, oh, dude. I don't use Quillfish. That's the secret. Uh. This is just gonna keep exiting. Well, I might as well do a heal. Using different types. Oh, exactly, exactly. Like, legit, legit. I don't know why on earth nearly everyone in Pokemon sticks to the same types. Almost every single trainer in the mainline Pokemon games will stick to the same type Pokemon all the time. You think electric types hurt everyone in the water? Uh, I mean, no, nah, water's probably, like, it's dispersed enough that, like... It's probably not not too bad if you hit someone, because like the reason why like a bathtub of water is dangerous is because it's a bathtub. Uh, hands big enough to fit my skull. I mean, there's there's probably yeah. I think there's a lot of Pokemon that have big hands. Snorlax. S Snorlax is probably like <laughs> any any Pokemon that weighs more than like a hundred can probably, like, crush his skull if they tried. I used pounds just then. Is someone gonna yell at me on that one? <laughs> 50 kilos, there you go. SI unit right there. Pentacruel. Man, this person couldn't just move, like, a bit further up. Good old Mantine. What is your favorite Pokemon? Uh... It's a toughie, but I'm a big fan of, uh, Munchlax. I'm not too sure if you can... <laughs> you can see the little Munchlax in the bottom left, but... Oh, yeah. You'll judge me on my answer. Oh, if only, <laughs> if only I'd known you'd judge me ahead of time, I would've been like... Oh, I would've, I would've just picked... It. Like, uh, I don't know, what, what's, like, an easy pick? Pants here. Easy. <laughs> nah, legit. I don't, I don't know anyone who would legitimately, like, pick Pants here over, like, even, like, Pants Age or Pan Poor. Uh, but no, yeah, Mun Munchlax is probably my one, uh, because he serves two purposes. There's the one on, like, the cute aspect of, like, oh, he's a, he's a cool, he's a cool Pokemon, he does cool things, he eats a lot, uh, and that's his personality trait, basically. <laughs> Uh, but on top of that, like, Munchlax legit, like, is, at least in my opinion, like, one of the best, like, little cup kinds of Pokemon that you can use. Like, you give him an Eviolite, and he is, like, no one can pass him. Uh, except for maybe, like, Chansey, sure. But, like, he is cute baby, that is true. But, like, legit, like, a Munchlax with an Eviolite is just, you know, an, an immovable object. He does not go anywhere. And he's got, like, he's got decent stats to go off. Like, hold on, I'm gonna actually go look this one up as well. But I know you can do, like, the... You can do your casual Snorlax strats. And I'm hoping that based on his... Uh... Where's his moves? Where is he? Base stats, here we go. Yeah, yeah, 135 HP, 40 defense. That kind of sucks, yeah. Munchlax can crush my skull in his hands. Uh, he, do he doesn't really have big hands, I guess. Uh, 85 special defense, though. So for Little Cup, like, an 85 attack? 85 attack? <laughs> That's... I... 
85 attack is so crazy dumb for a, uh, a little cup Pokemon. Legit, that is an amazingly good amount. There's a reason why he is so rare. Um, uh, also looking it up, he weighs 105 kilos, so he weighs a uh, bit more than I do. And uh, as something that's two feet tall, that's absolutely tiny. Guy could probably crush your head if you jumped on him. Has a Munchlax ever, like, jumped into the arms of, like, a character on the TV show? Like, I feel like there's a lot of Pokemon like that, where it's like, oh, they jump in, it's like, a, oh, it's like Pikachu jumps in your hands, he's a little, little mouse thing, you know, oh, light as a feather. Like... But then, like, you know, Munchlax, it's 105 kilos, bro! <laughs> bro, he's heavy ass! Mr. Rhyme? Mr. Mime is, is good fun. I, I love Mr. Mime. I'd say Mr. Mime is a great choice. And, if anything, Mr. Mime is a fun choice as well, because a tricky Pokemon is always good fun. Oh, and bonus points for Munchlax, having thick fat. So, like, not only has he got these bulky stats, but also he's got, you know, an ability that effectively gives him a type weak- or a type strength against, um, fire and ice. Which... Not 100% the most common, like, people are gonna use fighting attacks, and I can understand. Not Mr. Mime, he sucks at Mr. Rhyme. Oh, the, the evolution! The evolution! Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. <laughs> I... Gen 8 is kind of wiped from my system, but no, yeah, I, I remember that they gave Mr. Mime an evolution in Gen 8, like... And he, they gave him a top hat and a cane. Amazing stuff. I don't know, like, how how he is as a playstyle kind of Pokemon, but yeah, as, as just, like, a design, like, wise, you know, kind of Pokemon. That's a, that's a fun one. He is Dancing Legend. I, I mean, Ludicolo. Ludicolo is Dancing Legend in my eyes. He can't surpass Ludicolo's wonderful moves. That that Mirror B kind of, you know, beat in the back. Oh, she's crushed! Bro, bro, ask her for the tips on, on the skull crushing. I think that's actually it on, like, all the trainers. I hope you all appreciate me just kind of, like, sitting out here just, like, grinding some trainers. But that is, that is some useful... Um, you know, just like, that. that is gonna help a long time. And also on top of that, you get to see a lot of, a lot of other things. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Anime Traps. I hope you appreciate the content ahead. Uh... Alright, I'm done, Tanacruel. I would like to go back home. I would like to go back. Let me go back. So, yeah, you can, you can look at these, uh, islands, but you can't touch. Because I got these little whirlpools in the front, and that's that's not at all kind, I know. So there we go, we're finally here. Ah, uh, let's explore him on top does a cool little he does do a cool little jig. So I believe this guy over here, he's got you have magnificent Pokemon with you. How about a photo for a souvenir? Sure. Big smile now. Which Pokemon should I photograph? Uh, give me one of, uh... Babat. <laughs> Why not? Hold still for a bit. <laughs> yeah, uh... Oh, no, no picture? Oh! <laughs> Get out of my shop! <laughs> I would love to have a printer just, like, hooked up. Oh, you came from all of you remember the four islands along the way? I heard that a mythical sea creature is hiding in them. Now that's a fun thing to note, by the way. The whirlpools around the islands must be caused by that sea creature. So yeah, if you can come back much later... You gotta have a silver wing, has the same sense as a creature. <laughs> Where my Game Boy printer, mom? I wish... I do wish I had the Game Boy printer. Um, that'd be fun to program and stuff. I... I'm in shock! A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokémon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokémon for a while? Yeah, sure. Your Pokémon party is full. So, what this guy gives you, by the way, is that he gives you his own level 15 Shuckle. But who cares, because I caught my own. Uh... Some people may go, hey, you get less experience because you 
that's not the trade and I'm like, I don't care. This is my shuckle. I get to tell him. Set it free. Oh boy, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm assuming worrying you. The lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble. I got it. This ought to do the trick. And this guy gives you a secret potion. That secret potion is a tad too strong. I only offer it in an emergency. Ah, uh, double dose. <laughs> Poor Reggie kick out and just go, oh my gosh, jeez. Across the sea to get here? That must have been either. It would be easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. But you can't use fly without the city's gym badge. You beat the gym leader. Come see me. I have a nice gift for you. So good on that person as well. Uh, Bulbapedia says that person's their wife. Uh, the gym leader's wife. Sorry, should have clarified whose wife that was. Uh, I think I'm only gonna have time for one gym, but that's okay because let's let's get it done. Let's let's do it. Eventually, asks for the shuckle back. Oh, does he? Does he? Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I'd love to just like hold on to the shuckle, which is why I just caught my own because it's really not that hard to get a shuckle. Oh, this is the fun part where they like bait you into like two trainers. Uh, I'm. I wonder if Hitmon. Yeah, you got the Hitmons coming at you. I wonder if Hot Doggo is at that point. Maybe. Well, let's let's throw Hot Doggo in. My Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. <laughs> All right, if you if you're telling me that like evolving through friendship is a uh, you know weak as this is Yoshi here. I just throw him in the PC and wait him to ask for it back. Ah. I mean, yeah, kind of, yeah. Hey, remember when I said Hot Doggo may be strong enough to, like, fight these guys? Yeah, he just lost, like, 80-something percent of his health. Oh, no! And you know what's the worst part? This is what I mean by, like, mm, there may be a bit of a difficulty kind of spike here, because, I mean, granted, these two level 27s are a bit out of line, because the rest of the gym doesn't go... Uh, that high level. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't use Bite. At least Jump Kick's not gonna do that much, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to rely on his own... His own... Uh... Bits here. Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee? I'm a Hitmonlee kind of guy. I feel like being a bit bulky is... It's quite nice, especially considering Hitmonlee's got stuff like, um... Uh, is Hype Jump Kick the, the one that does a fixed amount of damage? Maybe I'm thinking the card game on that one. Let's see if I love you. Ooh. At least Bad Bat's got a strat here. Chan is way cooler? Chan is cool. Chan is cool. I don't know, him at least got the stretchy legs. That seems like it's ultimately neat. Him on Chan is just a speedy boxer guy. Oh, he's got like... Oh, it's a sliver of health. That is legitimately two pixels, except because this is a, uh... What is this? This is 144p screen... I don't know what the factor is. On, on stream. Oh! The stream chat kind of died. Hold on, I'm just gonna... Uh, refresh my mind. Uh, but you said Chan will punch you to death if you look at him funny. Oh, he definitely will. Uh, here we go. Refresh cache of current page. There we go. You'll never know that the stream died, except for that one message that may have disappeared real quick. He will probably kill me if I look at him funny. This isn't real! Yeah, this is the first double battle in, in Pokemon right here. Can't do anything about it, you're just gonna fight both of these Hitmons. Like, guys, so this is Lau. He's got the Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan says his lovely skirt. Masculine skirt, though. Let's give him the confusion. Uh, so Hitmonchan is the more aggressive of the two. Uh, Hitmonchan's shiny colors. Uh, hey... Doesn't he have green gloves? Oh, he does have fire punch. I forgot that he does have some weird type stuff. He's probably got ice punch as well, which is gonna, like, throw me off. I am confused. Ah... Uh, oh, this is definitely gonna hit himself a bit, but... I don't know if bad has got the ability to, to, to take him entirely, this, this guy. 
Comet Punch, that's the one. No, Comet Punch is the Fury Attack. Yeah, he's he's green with blue gloves. I knew I I knew he was green in some components, but yeah. Green with blue gloves. Blue gloves would be interesting. He looks rancid. Rancid. Whoa. Let's give him a bite, let's just go for it. He's not having a good one right now. Hitmonlee is mol moldy corn dog. Moldy corn dog. What? What do you mean? More? He's only green. There's a lot of only green Pokemon out there, I guess. Ah, uh, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Let's get No One Boy in there because he is falling a bit back in terms of levels. Wow. Okay, uh, I could just get him with a surf. Bro, you can't even hit him. Green shinies suck. You're not a big fan of green shinies? Dragonite was done so dirty. I know, like, Mew is... Was it Mew? Who's green? On the shiny? Yeah, I think... I think there's quite a few, like, green... Like, just when they're shiny, they're green. And that's it. The fun part is when they're green normally. Oh, Mew's blue? Who's the green one? One of them is green when they go shiny. I can't remember. Isn't Unknown like green? You two has some green? Yeah. My brain's thinking Celebi, but Celebi's like pink when they're shiny and green normal, so that doesn't count. Um, I can't think of one off the top of my head. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. They put a strength puzzle right here. So they do require you to, to teach someone strength. You two have some green. Yeah. This guy's called Nob. Listen, I don't even trust Hot Doggo against this guy. Champ is also bad. Yeah, this is what my one thing. I don't have anything super effective against any of these guys. Babat is 100% there to, like, take things. So, I don't mind getting Babat up in levels against this gym. Oh, that's the one move. So, Seismic Toss deals damage equal to your level. Uh, and you can't do anything about it. But fortunately, uh, Machop is a bit uh, self-inflicted on this one. He did not have the ability to hit himself on that one. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. At least it's going to be painfully obvious, like, when to duck out if he uses another attack, so... Unless I've got that going on. I don't think anyone in this fighting gym are particularly, like... Well... Thanks, game. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. Uh, at least no one in this gym is, like, strong against anyone in particular. I just kind of... <laughs> I just want to figure out, like, what's the, the easiest way to clean sweep this gym? Because I don't particularly have anything that's super effective against anyone. Really loves his seismic toss, doesn't he? How am I faster than him? I swear, like, Quagsire should be slow. I guess it's Machop. It's not too fast. Oh. Thanks, game. Double thanks, game. Wow. I'd rather roll all the bad, you know, virtual numbers right now than to... than to experience them during the actual, like, gym leader. He's about to use that Machoke. He's coming at me. Whoa. Oh, I swoon over that freaking, like, abdominal, like, not abdominal, those, those pectorals. Jeez, man. Want to cover it up? Jeez. Oof. Oh, what part of uh, that deals damage to equal to my level did that? Maybe it's their level. <laughs> That's a bit awkward. It could be their level, actually. <laughs> I got Razor Leaf, it's okay. No, they they start to get particularly mean on 
the last gym. The last gym that's actually quite mean when you're fighting the trainers. Okay, that's two crits on two karate chops. I'm sensing the pattern here, game. Uh, do I battle through the next train? No, because I don't have a way to get through the boulders, so it doesn't really matter anyways. Well, I guess I'm not going to need Shuckle on my team. I'm, I'm definitely going to need uh, Rocky. I like Slugma Shiny. Uh, is Slugma Shiny... That's not a green shiny, is it? No, I thought he's like blue. Yeah, it might be blue. Oh, he's silver! Ah. Can't believe they put some boulders in the gym. Like, what are they thinking? I wonder how many gyms actually have, um... Uh, a, um... You know, like, you, you need a, um, an outside move in order to do them. I definitely know... Uh, the fourth type gym needs cut getting there. I'm not too sure if you need it to get, uh, once you're in the gym. Gardevoir shiny. Gardevoir's got, like, a blue one, don't they? That's kind of neat. Again, I'll, I'll have to preface by saying, like, I don't really think of a lot of the shinies just because, like, I don't really see a lot of the shinies. <laughs> Let's go. Strength. Teach it to a Pokemon. We're teaching it to Rocky. He's trying to learn strength, but he can't learn moves because he's not very smart and he can only learn moves that are four. But over I tackle on that one. Because strength is just, like, a much better tackle. Less PP, I guess, but... It does the job. It's, it's a particularly good move. So, if I had a normal type guy on my team, I'd probably use it. I used to always teach it to, like, a Snorlax. Uh, so, the, the puzzle here is, uh... Because, obviously, you can only push all these boulders up. But you can push two of them up and push the one in the middle aside. And hopefully the pathway down the center kind of highlights that as well. We're going to reach a point where Growlithe can take a Mankey on in a fight. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't think he is. Ah, I got the burn. I got the burn. So, half damage on the attack. That's okay. You know, Hot Doggo can take on at least one. He's got that at least. Hurt by the burn. Uh, yeah, I might as well just commit. Sure. That should- oh, that doesn't get him up there. <laughs> Alright, so this guy's got two Mankeys. Um, I don't really have a particularly, like, great strat. I feel like just getting Quagsar up a few levels is probably okay. Um, but yeah, the, the goal is to have a level 30, uh, well, to be able to fight a level 30. Maybe not necessarily be level 30, but, you know, I've got the power of friendship on my side, so... That's gotta mean something, right? The gym leader's doing this as a job. He can't be doing this for love. He... He, <laughs> he does this because he gets paid at the end of the week for how many how many badges he lets out. Also, thank you, five Fury Swipes. Appreciate it. Alright, real talk, by the way. Pokemon games have so much, like, potential in terms of, like, developing these different storylines, and they kind of... Uh, explored it a little bit in, like, Pokemon Coliseum, where, like, you know, you're, you you start the game off as a thief, working for a criminal organization, like, you know, that's, that's something, you can start off, you've got a premise there, and yet, every single mainline Pokemon game, always, you are a 10 to 12 year old person who is helping a professor. Every time, can they stop well, not stop necessarily, but it's like, oh, you've got so many different things you can do in this one. The only reason why, like, I guess I'm gone, yeah, I, I, I went in for the rescue move expecting him to either miss or use a move that wouldn't hit. So, that one's on me. Uh, we'll send out Babat, because I think Babat's almost in line for another level, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, can, you can do this. At least as long as this computer right works, which it probably will. 
Yeah, I mean, I would legit, like, if, if anything as well, like, Silver in this game is almost prime real estate for something. I think he's a little underexplored in this version of the game. Uh, in Heart Gold, um, he plays a bit more of a role, has more lines of dialogue, and that kind of gives away the fact that, like, he, like, kind of unlearns his Team Rocket, like, family legacy, which, by the way, he's the son of uh, Team Rocket boss Giovanni. Uh, he unlearns that kind of legacy and then becomes a truly great trainer in his own right. And I'm like, you know, that would be great having a Pokemon game where you just play as these significant characters in history. Like, they've, they've done it kind of in the anime with Pokemon Generations, where it's like they showed, or Origins, where they showed parts of, parts of Pokemon history and, like, showing, like, you know, how neat it is if you just, like, you know, strip it away from the fact that this is for a, um, you know, for a kid's TV- Ah, oh, Joey! <laughs> Joey! No! Joey! Come on! That was not the time, Joey. Come on. Alright, let's get this gym battle out of the way. Now, here's the thing. Would I get absolutely wrecked by the next gym? Because, like, my team is, what, max level 26 right now? Or is it 27? I haven't checked. Hold on, I'm actually checking this one. Do I have a 27? No, they're all 26. This gym leader, yeah, he's only got two... He's only got two Pokemon. And one's gonna be level 30. Uh, oh, who do I start out with as well? I'm gonna start out with Babat. I have a strong feeling I can... I can... Wing Babat. Ah. But yeah, on top of that, like, you've got other, like, you know... <laughs> That's amazing right there. Scared now, are ya? What, it has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. <laughs> Fair enough, this, this kid brings up a good point, like... <laughs> sure. And then, yeah. I love you, Chuck. So, okay, so he starts off with this Primate, it's level 27. Imagine throwing a boulder. Think about it, I wouldn't need, you know, a HM Slate for that. If I could have done that, so... Yeah. So, uh, this guy's got Leer, Rage, Fury Swipes, and Karate Chop. It is basically the exact same as every other prime map I've come across in this whole gym. Uh, Rage is uh, a weird one, because it's, uh, yeah, you... Yeah, so when you... It's a 20 power attack, but every time you use it, it's as if your attack stat goes up by one. Um... Uh, you can also, uh, you can also cancel in this game. So that's a, that's a fun one. Whereas, like, before you, you could, you had to just wing it. Is he gonna hit himself? Cause I'm, re I'm relying on that. That's, that's my whole strat with Babat. I'm only gonna use it just for Bat, uh, just for this Primate. I, I guess he could flinch. I guess it's that as well. It's not a particularly great strat, but, I don't know, Confusion seems to work too good in this game. So I'll just, like, I'll just keep going, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm expecting to get hit at some point. Four hits, not particularly great, but sure. And there's another flinch. Wow. Okay. Oh, he can't do it. He can't do it. Not very strong at all. So, a good amount of experience. Uh, and then Polyrath. Uh, so, I guess my, my short-term strats are I'm either going to use Chicky or Fluffer. Uh, how would a Pokemon hurt itself in confusion? Um... I guess you could say, like, it overexerts itself. Um, it... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Yeah, maybe them tripping. Uh, usually confusion in other RPG... Oh! Usually confusion in other RPGs is, like, you start treating your your allies as, like, enemies. So you start attacking your enemies. Oh, sorry, your, your, your friends. Because Pokemon doesn't really have parties. Yeah. Uh, so he's got Polyrath, it's got Dynamic Punch, which is an absolute freaking mean attack. Because it's a strong attack that 
makes you confused and always, well, it, it doesn't hit very often, but if you use Mind Reader, it definitely does, and this is, well, I mean, it's not going to hit twice. Well, it, it, you know, it may hit twice. That's a bit mean, isn't it? Can Fluffer do any better? I don't particularly think so. Oh, no, I can't believe I'm actually slower than the Polyrath on this one as well. So, for reference, this other move, just as a double jerk, is Surf. So, if you got something that, like, you know, say you come in with a Ghost type, he can still hit you with Surf. I'm getting my butt kicked on this one, wow. Oh boy. I don't think I... No, I, I've got no plan on this one. I've got one, one strat. I know I can use revise, but like, I feel like if I've made no progress right now. I've got one strat! <laughs> We're doing it twice! <laughs> I don't think it's going to particularly work. Well, at least the hypnosis didn't work. I guess I've got that. It's like, I don't think I can really wing it with the bite spam, so I'm just going to rely on him to hit himself all the time. He is crushing my bones. I also don't know if we're in this point where, like, they can start using, like, spam items to, like, just prolong the fight on me. So now, this is, yeah, this is the thing, is that, like, because obviously he's not going to deal as much damage with the dynamic punch, he's just going to come in with Surf. Which is not the be-all end-all, but it's definitely not ideal. So I'm actually going to, I'm, I'm going to use my stupid potion. I'd say it's a worthwhile investment in this fight. Um, if I had X special defense, it's probably a, a decent spot to use it as well. You don't even have bones anymore, they're just dust now. Do bats? Bats have bones, I guess. Tadpoles have bones. Why did that do a lot more damage this time than last time? Well, guess what I've got? A cheap strat. wasn't a lot of damage that time. I swear his physical attack was pretty okay. That's what Politoed is for. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no, there goes Babat. Oh, well. It's a gem, it's expected. Alright, I got no on boy to kind of like stall for a bit while Surf is taking its time, so... Uh... I... I could use Amnesia, but I don't know, he's probably going to land a dynamic punch on me, so we'll go in with a slam. Alright, alright, I've got myself an extra hit. I've got myself an extra hit. Yeah, I just need one more hit. Oh. He could hit himself. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This hypnosis has actually been the worst thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm gonna die on my next hit as well. Nah. Nah. We're using it. We're using it. Where, where's the revive? There it is. There's one revive in my inventory. I know I need it on this occasion. The one Pokemon that's faster than him. Oh, that's just pain and disappointment that I've needed to, like, spam items against this guy, because, yeah, the part that's got me terrified is the fact that the moment I'm done with this gym, and we'll, we'll save that for the, next, for the next stream, but the moment I'm done with this gym... I don't trust Bite to actually kill him on this one. I, I actually feel like I should just commit with the Confuse Ray and it's just... Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, oh, we're good, we're good. His bite's not gonna kill him, nah. Oh, no! Really? Really?
He's gonna get torn! He's gonna get torn to shreds! He's gonna get torn to shreds, bro! Oh, that's just disappointing! That's just disappointing that the streaking Polyrath swept my team because he's one faster and then two nails hypnosis mind reader dynamic punch on every single one. Oh, that's just pain. Ah. Oh. I lost to Whitney as well, didn't I? Like first go. Like she just nailed my team. This Polyrath is mean, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Heck no. Heck no. You don't need to do grind here to beat Pokemon. Uh. I said before. We're keeping the money, we're keeping the items. Um. Nah, nah, nah. You don't need, you don't need to do an offline stream. And I'm, I'm saying this on a slightly arrogant note, but also the fact that, like, I legitimately think Pokemon is, like, surface level. You don't need grinding to get through any of it. Uh, you can partially blame my team, because... I've got... wait... I do have Fly... no, I don't have Fly as a HM. Oh. <laughs> you, got, you gotta beat this guy to get Fly as the HM. I would actually like to have a flying type attack on Babak, because Leech Life is just trash. Leech Life is n no use. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take another stab at this guy. Um, I feel like I got incredibly unlucky with the Polyrath though, because like, legit, the Confuse Ray should have worked more than it did. Oh no, I failed! Wow! Wow! Thanks game, appreciate it. Oh. Now that Primeape is confused, he's, he's, he's still not getting hit by that confusion, I guess, but sure. Alright, whatever game. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, no, I, I do feel like you can, you can win Pokemon games without having to, to grind. Uh, he made me look like trash because he was faster than all my Pokemon. And now, yeah, this is the part that's got me mildly concerned, is that if that Polyrath is faster and wrecking me like that, what is, uh, Jasmine Steelix gonna do? Because there are no trainers from here to there. You fight this guy, and you immediately go back, you go up that tower again, and you fight Jasmine when she comes back down, but... Like, Jasmine is the next person, she's got a level 35 Steelix, and Steelix is a speedy boy, and everyone forgets that. Alright. We're changing the strat slightly. I am literally on the same amount of health as well. We're starting with the Confuse Ray, we're swapping out, and then we're gonna use Thingy. Now that's gonna rely on him being confused for two turns, which apparently it's been zero turns sometimes. Or three turns, I guess, because that, that one counts as well. All I need is just like an easy Razor Leaf, and then I'm set. Oh! Well, okay, well, turns out his AI just decided to pick the wrong move. Because, yeah, like, him trying to use Dynamic Punch without using Mind Reader is no issue. Alright, sorry, what'd you say? What'd you say about me needing to do grinding? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but, like, legit. Legit. Like, it's there. It's just sometimes you just get really unlucky. Sometimes you just... You just got no idea. Me fighting Whitney was exactly like that. And by the way, remember when I was complaining about Nino Kuni earlier this stream? And I was like, man, I hate it when you just try the boss again and you just suddenly win and all of a sudden, like, what's going on there? <laughs> and then suddenly it happens. Oh no. So anyway, he does give you Dynamic Punch, which is the mean attack, and he tells you you can use Fly uh, outside of battle. 
Uh, just as one last thing afterwards, if you talk to this person now, they're like, Yo! You crossed the sea to get here, that must have been hard, it would have been much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. Oh, that's the gym badge! Oh, you should take this instead. And then you get the HM to fly, which is great because I don't think I've got a single Pokemon on my team apart from... Golbat, who can fly. <laughs> he was getting a little chubby. Uh... Yeah, okay. So anyways, with that, I'm gonna call that a stream. I would like to thank you all so very much for watching, and especially... Just as a mild note, I noticed at some point on Twitch, uh, my concurrent viewers went to 10, and I know that sounds very small, but to me that's a bit magical because uh, that's a lot of people who are looking at this and going, hey, that's cool and all. So with that, I would like to thank you all very much for, for watching this. Um, yeah, I, I stream at this time every week, so if you just want to know that I'm streaming this time every week, then please follow on Twitch. And I also re-upload all of these on my YouTube channel, which has the same name, so you, you can't miss that. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I at least I at least got to the end of you know, all, all that way and then did a badge as well. So we've got some significant progress on that. Who knows, next part's probably going to be super ultra quick as well. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I felt that was actually pretty pretty eventful and pretty... Lots of stuff going on there. Uh, other than that, I hope you all have a great time in uh, outside of games. Just you know, life as it is. Crazy world out there, but we make good sense of it. Anyways, have a good one, everyone. Stay safe and eat your greens. <laughs>